Once you meet him, you'll understand what I'm talking about. It's just really weird how you talk about it. It's not like that. It's He's one of my good friends. He's a cool, good guy, and I want you to meet him. Whatever. What are you doing later? No. What no. are you doing later? Why? No. He's going to be home. I don't want to. Come on. Courtney. Oh, shit. Have you finished writing your celebrity worship paper yet? No. What are you doing today? Finishing my paper. Okay, well, how about you come with me to this weird guy's house? He's not weird. He's not weird. He's weird. This is uh, Glenn. Glenn Courtney. Hello. I can't. I haven't even started writing my paper. Okay, it'll take like 10 minutes. 10 minutes, boom, in now. What is it, like a party? Uh, no. But uh, it's this weird guy that he wants me to meet, and he's not it's weird. gonna be weird. He hasn't even met him. It's I gonna can't be say weird. He's weird. Uh, God. Where and when? Let's go now. Let's go right now. Yeah. yeah, we'll go to my house, get in my car, ride from there. Sure. I just really need to finish this. Okay, let's go. Why do you ignore my heat to not appear during the first full moon? Shame on me. But welcome. I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. I want it right now. I've done everything that you've asked me to do. Glenn. Patience. We mustn't rest perfection. Perfection. Is that Chanel number five? Hi, it's nice to meet you. And your name is, my dear? Courtney. It is a pleasure to meet you.
weirdo. He's trying to be weird and he's trying way too hard. He's not trying anything. He's not weird. I thought it was really cool. He's artistic. Oh, to be artistic, you have to be on drugs? The guy's on drugs. Why are you so jealous of him? No, I am not. I'm totally jealous of him. No. Hey, do you oh. think you can give him my number? He doesn't have a phone. He doesn't have a phone? It's kind of badass. Oh my gosh, you guys think he's that great? Get over it. He's not cool. You know what, man? You're just bitter because he's better than you in every single way. Shut up, Glenn. You're gonna say something? Say something with substance. Don't take it out on him. When did I become the bad guy? Come on! When you disrespected Tom! Again, if you're gonna say something, don't repeat yourself, Glenn. Why don't you go see him at work? Go what see does he him do? at and work. And what does he do? Oh my gosh. Were you not listening to anything he said? No. Go see him on Thursday night, and then come to your conclusion. I can't Thursday. Then stop talking shit on him. Alright, just take me home. It's already 7.30 and I haven't heard from anybody. Sorry. It's already 7.30 and I haven't heard from anyone? for this rocket to take off. I'm not going back. Because he was wearing a wolf mask. Standing in the middle of the road. No, I'm not going back. I'm not going back. I'm not going back. I am not going back. I am not going back. Hello, Glenn. Hello, Cameron. I'm glad you guys can make it. Hope I didn't scare you too much last night, Cameron. Tom, I did it. I did it. I'm sorry, but I got him here. You you wanted him, and I got him. Tom, I'm your man. It took a little while, but I know, and, and that's all right. Because he's finally going to learn, and he's finally going to see it.
You guys can ride with me. There's so much I don't understand. Admittance is the first part. Then comes listening. But I gotta warn you. It's not easy. I'm, I'm listening, I'm listening now. When I first met you, Cameron, I knew you were different. It takes a proactive mind to be able to question certain things to go against the grain. You see, as artists, we're given hands for tools. But inspiration and creativity, it doesn't come from our mind. It comes from deep within. It resides in the depths of our souls, waiting to be activated. But we can't just go aggressively dig it out. That would destroy us. We must be patient. And we must realize that we can't do it on our own. Long time ago, I went on a journey. And on this journey, I, it led me to find out who I really was inside. And 
when I found it. I found it dancing. Dancing to the sound of nature. And in that moment, my eyes were open. In that moment, I was able to see for the first time. And what I saw was absolutely incredible. Without even knowing him, I can feel this bond between us, and, and I embraced it. I embraced the transformation, and we became one. Two souls, one body. Two bodies, one soul. And together, we were able to awaken the inspiration and creativity that I had inside. search for those things, are we, Cameron? But it's like nothing you've ever, ever experienced. 